Hey guys, it's Kristen. I am so honored to be with you here on this Wednesday to talk out of the book of Esther, chapter four, verses 14 through 17. So we're gonna get straight into our scriptures. If you keep quiet at a time like this, deliverance and relief for the Jews will arise from some other place, but you and your relatives will die. Who knows if perhaps you were made queen for such a time as this. Then Esther sent this reply to Mordecai, go and gather together all the Jews of Susa and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. My maids and I will do the same. And then, though it is against the law, I will go in to see the king. If I must die, I must die. So Mordecai went away and did everything as Esther had ordered him. You know, this is such a powerful story of Esther. And I know most of us have heard it so many times, but honestly, it never gets old and it never loses its depth. Um, it amazes me how Esther is willing to take such a risk to abandon the comfort of being queen and of being safe there in the palace and to take a risk. So the two things I really wanna talk about are Esther takes a risk out of obedience and she trusts God to rescue. You know, Esther is married to King Xerxes, who is the king of Persia. One of the king's officials, Haman, has gone to the king and convinced him to make a decree to kill all the Jews. He's angry because Esther's uncle, Mordecai, refused to bow to him. So Esther's in the palace and her uncle comes to her and says to her the plan that Haman has made. And he tells her, perhaps you were made queen for such a time as this. You know, he is encouraging her and charging her to take that risk. And Esther takes that risk out of obedience, but she doesn't take it blindly. She tells Mordecai to tell everyone to fast and pray for three days, nights and day, drink and eat nothing. And she and her maids did the same, to prepare. So she's taking the risk out of obedience and she is trusting God to rescue. So let's look at that second point. You know, like I said, she prepares for this. She doesn't just go in blindly to the king and just see what happens. She's fasting and praying and asking God to move on her behalf. This is such an excellent example for us all to follow. You know, we should never take action before seeking God, before going in prayer before God and asking him to move on our behalf because we don't have the power or strength. Esther in her own power was not able to move King Xerxes, but through prayer, the power of God could move him. So she goes before him. She chooses. She says, if I die, I'll die. But she makes the decision that she is going to trust God to rescue and she is going to go before the king. You know, same is true for us. God will use us wherever he has placed us. You know, he puts us where we are in order to make an impact for him, for his kingdom, um, for those around us. It's not ever about us. It's not about our personal influence or our prestige or anything that we accomplish. It's for his purposes and for his good. So today, I want to challenge all of us. You know, let's think about where is God calling us to take a risk? Is there an area where God's saying, hey, out of obedience, I need you to take this risk? Perhaps it's in your workplace, in your job, uh, maybe in your school, within your family. There's so many different environments. Within a group of friends, perhaps it's to, to speak up about something, some truth that he's given, to take action on something, and it's a risk. But he is calling us to trust him to rescue because he will rescue. He will not leave us hanging. But remember, before you take that risk, before you step out, commit yourself to prayer. Commit yourself to time praying and giving it to God and trusting that he will rescue. You know, um, this is something that encourages me today, and I hope that it encourages you. If there's someone that you think this could help out today, you can click the share button and send it their way. Um, be back with us tomorrow on Thursday. You don't want to miss it with our worship pastor, Doug Musso. Loved being with you guys today and hope you have an amazing day.